Hey guys, it's Tahira, and today I'm doing a another book unhaul. <laughs> so I think the last time I did this was about mid of last year, so it's been like almost, I think, nine months. And I just, there's a lot of books that I have been meaning to get rid of, having been wanting to get rid of, and should have gotten rid of a long time ago that I'm going to be talking about today. And I'm going to be talking about a little bit about, a little bit about why I'm getting rid of all these books. Basically, this time around, I'm trying to get as rid of as many books that I either just like read a long time ago and even if I enjoyed it, I don't see myself rereading in the future or I just like plain didn't like the book and I don't know why I'm holding on to it. Or the biggest reason that kind of ties into the other one is that a lot of these are YA contemporaries that I bought when I was like in middle school and high school because that's when I was kind of more into the YA like age group. But now that I'm a little bit older, I don't find myself gravitating to YA almost at all these days. And especially YA contemporary, I definitely have been preferring like adult books and adult contemporaries. Um, these days just because of the natural consequences of growing older so a lot of these are just like YA contemporaries or just YA books from my like from when I started my book collection many many years ago that I'm getting rid of now because since my book taste is changing I want to make space for some new books that I'm excited about that I want to read basically this book haul or book unhaul is a natural consequence of what happens when you start your book collection at 14 and you like just naturally outgrow a lot of the books that you read a while ago even if you enjoyed them. Um, so the first book I'm going to talk about is actually one I just recently read. I talked about it in my last books I've read recently video I think and that is I Kiss Shara Wheeler by Casey McQuestin. So this one is a book about this girl named Shara Wheeler who kisses these three people and then she disappears and she has she leaves clues to all these three people and they kind of have to follow these clues to try to figure out where Shara is and where she went. Um, I thought it was just Again, it's I think it's YA, which I definitely prefer Casey McQuiston's adult works like Red, White, and Royal Blue and One Last Dob, and I just think I've outgrown again YA as an age group, so I don't know. I just didn't really love this one. I gave it three stars. I just kind of thought it was boring at times, wasn't really engaged with the story. It was kind of dragging out for me, so I think I'm going to give this one away, which is kind of crazy because usually I don't give away books like that quickly. I just got this last November from a bookstore in North Carolina, but I think it's time it's time to let it go. The next one is a anthology actually that I've only read once and that is Because You Love to Hate Me. This one is I picked up because this is a YA anthology from it's a collection of short stories from different like popular YA authors and it's a collaboration with 13 like booktubers and they both kind of like collaborated. The booktubers gave the authors a prompt and then the author had to write a short story based on that prompt. So it was a fun concept. I enjoyed it when I read it but again it's been a while. I think I also mainly picked it up because again it had a lot of authors that I had read and really enjoyed but also the booktubers were booktubers that I watch regularly and like really enjoyed their content so obviously I wanted to pick up a collaboration between them but I don't even I don't think I even watch most of these um, booktubers anymore and I don't even read from most of these authors just because again I've kind of grown out of their writing a little bit anyways yeah so I think it's time to let this one go as well the next one is actually a prize I won from booktubeathon or I don't know if it was a reading rush back then but that is notes from my captivity by Kathy Parks I got this book because I won one of the or was one of the winners for one of the video challenges for I don't even remember which booktubeathon or reading rush or whatever but I was because I won that I was sent a copy of this book as my prize so it's a cool memory but I don't know if I like the book enough to like keep it and then keep hold on to that especially because the booktubeathon and the re or the reading rush is not really a thing anymore it used to be a thing which I really enjoyed I loved when it was happening but it has since been stopped and hasn't happened in many years so I just don't really see myself like rereading this in the future either so I think I'm gonna have to give it away <laughs> I don't know what to do with the lighting anyways I think this follows this girl who goes into like the woods and then she meets this like random group there and there's like magical realism involved. It's like a little bit weird, but like I didn't hate it. Like I think I probably gave it three 
stars-ish. I didn't hate it, but it's just, again, something that I'm not going to read, reread, especially because it's a book I didn't pick out myself and I sent it for as a prize. So I just don't see myself rereading it in the future. The next book is Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. This one is obviously a really popular white contemporary from quite a while ago. Um, this one came out many, many years ago. I really enjoy Ra Rainbow Rowell's um, Fangirl. I think it's probably my favorite book from hers and I still am keeping my copy of Fangirl because that's like sort of a nostalgic read for me that I really enjoyed. But this one I read once, I picked it up because everyone else was talking about it and I just don't really see myself rereading it ever in the future. Um, and there's been a lot of like questionable stuff that's come up about the story anyways. So I'm just, it's time to let it go. Then I have What If It's Us by Becky Albertalli and Adam Silvera. This one is about a couple, I guess, Arthur and Ben and something to do with New York. I don't know, I picked this up because I really like Becky Albertalli and Adam Silvera's like separate works. Um, but I obviously had to pick it up because they were writing a book together. And I think this book also has a sequel that I have not read yet and I have no interest in reading. Again, this is like one of those like white contemporaries that I just don't see myself like rereading ever in the future. And it was a cute story, like it wasn't bad at all. It was just, it's just not something I want on my shelf anymore. Like not for any malicious reasons, but just because... I don't really want to read it anymore. Then is a book that my sister is actually unhauling from her shelf, but I thought I'll just mention it here because I read it, I gave it three stars, it was just okay, but that is Today, Tonight, Tomorrow by Rachel Solomon. This one's about two high school like academic rivals who come together for a reason on the last day of school, like last day of their senior year of high school. So they kind of like learn about each other, get to know each other a little better and they realize that they should have been, should not have been academic rivals all this time. Um, it's a cute story, but again, it's just okay. It is very fast paced, it'll be a quick read, but I guess my sister doesn't want it. <laughs> the next one is Heroin by Mindy McGinnis. So this one is about this girl who gets addicted to opioids, I think, and eventually it leads her to heroin. It's all about like addiction in high school and everything. And I enjoyed this book. I didn't, this is not a bad book at all. I picked it up because I had heard a lot of things about it, I guess back in the day. But again, this is kind of like a heavy topic obviously dealing with addiction and like symptoms of addiction and like what happens with some dealing with someone who's addicted to a illegal substance like heroin um it's just a very heavy concept and topic so it's not something that i'll like be like there's a lot of other books i'll reread because i like oh i'm in the mood for a light fluffy romance i'll read that but i'm never going to be in the mood to be like i want to read about this book with addiction so even though this book is like not bad at all and i enjoyed my time reading it i just don't see myself picking it up in the future <laughs> then i have saints and misfits by sk ali another ya contemporary i think this is about muslim a muslim girl or something but again it's a ya contemporary that i don't see myself reading so I'm gonna give it away. <laughs> Next two books are actually Rick Riordan books and that is The Trials of Apollo and The Hidden Oracle and The Dark Prophecy, the first two books in the series because I picked this up back in middle school and I enjoyed it but I still, I haven't reread it since. I haven't touched it since. I really wanted to continue on in the series at some point but I never got around to it and at this point I have so many other books that I want to read that I don't think I'll ever get to this or like buy it for myself like if I want to read I'll get it from the library or something but I don't see myself buying it to like complete the collection so I'm just gonna get rid of the first two books while I have them. The next one is The Project by Courtney Summers. This is a book about cults. Um, This is the same author as Sadie. Sadie is a book I really enjoyed by Courtney Summers but I'm gonna be giving this one away because it was just okay. I don't think it was exactly what I wanted to do wanted it to be in terms of a cult book so I'll, I, I don't see myself rereading it ever so I'm going to be giving it up but I'm still keeping Courtney Summers other book Sadie on my shelf because I really enjoy that and I do see myself rereading it sometime in the future but this one I just don't. <laughs> then I have another like series that I never finished that I'm giving up and that is Ace of Spades and King of Fools by Amanda Foodie. This one is a fantasy, I, I don't want to, I want to say maybe urban fantasy um, story. I don't even remember what it's about, but 
This one I have had on my shelf for a while. I picked it up a while ago, I think because Emma from Emma Books was talking about it in her one of her videos and she really enjoyed this book. So I picked it up because I wanted to read it and I did enjoy it. And then I picked up King of Fools, which is a sequel, and I also enjoyed this. But then there's a third book. I think it's called Queen of Volts that I never picked up. And I don't foresee myself, like, picking it up anytime in the future, to be honest. I've held on to this for quite a while, being like, because I did enjoy it. So I'm like, one day maybe I'll pick it up, and one day I'll get the sequel or the third book in the series. But I think as time goes on, I ha just haven't been... Um, touching it or even like thinking that much about this so I think I'm just I'm it's time to let this one go okay we're almost done um then I have Felix Ever After by Casey Callender this one is about a trans teen um again it's like a white contemporary it wasn't bad when I read it enjoyed it when I read it but I think again I'm just outside of the genre or age group now so it just doesn't really serve me as much as it did back when I read it. Another one that falls into the same category that I won't be talking that much about because it's like all of these kind of have the same reason, but that is Eliza and Her Monsters, another white contemporary um, that I just don't see myself like reading. And then this one is actually one that I, my mom got because of the hype. She fell into the hype, guys. And she got the life-changing magic of Tidying Up by Marie Kondo, which is really popular um, many years ago when people were like... If, cleaning and organizing and stuff so i think she got this because of the hype and then she never read it and never like actually followed anything in it so she has decided that she does not want she's marie condoing the marie condo book then i have frankly in love by david yoon this is his debut i think ya book um david yoon is the husband of nicola yoon who has a bunch of like really popular books like everything, everything, Sun is also a star, like all those books I'm still keeping on my shelf. Um, but this one, I just, I don't know. I liked it, but I don't think I like it enough to want to keep it like I do with Nicola Yoon's books for some reason. <laughs> then the very last book that I will be talking about is Dear Martin by Nick Stone. So this was, I got back when The Hate You Give got really popular and Nick Stone kind of came out with her own like black teen centered story and i picked it up because there was a lot of discussion back then about like police brutality and the place of black teens in the world and how they need to think about things yeah i think 2017 was probably when that stuff was happening like in the news so i picked it up because it was very timely back then but since then, I have not picked this up. I have not talked about it. I have not thought about it. Um, I know there's another book to this called Dear Justice, but I have not, like, I have no interest in picking it up. And again, it's such a short, it is a very short book, and I just don't see myself, like, ever thinking about it or touching it again. So I will be unhauling this one as well. Anyway, so those are all the books that I'm going to be unhauling. I might go through one more time on my shelf, maybe. Um, but I think I've gotten rid of most of the books. This is a good, like, 15-ish books that I'm getting rid of. So I think I'm happy with this for now. I'll keep the other ones for another book haul, probably, book on haul, like, later down the line, probably. But for now, I'm pretty happy with all these books that I'm getting rid of. It's just, again, the reasoning isn't, like, for malicious reasons. I'm not, like, I absolutely hate these books. I need them out. It's more like I have outgrown this age group, and I don't really want to read from that anymore as much. So it's just, it's time to let these books go. But yeah, uh, let me know down below if you read any of these books and if you like them, as of course I would love to know. But that is it for this video. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye.